First quarter action here at Jefferson High School, and it's Griffin Riley of Jefferson knocking down the long jumper to give the number two Falcons a 9-7 lead over number 15 Lakeland in this North 1 Group 2 first round clash. Then watch Jared Shuster deliver the tray here for the Falcons, and Jefferson would have a 12-10 lead at the one quarter of play as these two teams met last year in the playoffs as Jefferson won in overtime. We go to second quarter action and off the inbounds, the most dangerous man is the inbounder, and Jake Cagliato of Lakeland makes that true here as he knocks down the three to give the Lancers a 15-12 lead. Then watch Cagliato with the kick out to Brett Riley, who buries another three for the Lancers, and they take a one point lead, 20 to 19 with three and a half minutes to go in the quarter. But Jefferson comes right back with an answer of its own, watch Connor AC bring it up and then bank home the three pointer to give Jefferson a 22-20 lead 30 seconds later. And Jefferson would take a one point lead at the half 25-24, thanks in part to this Connor Brown jumper for the Falcons. Okay, third quarter we go and the Falcons work it into Anthony Anderson who finishes with a nice reverse lay-in and Jefferson maintains the one point lead 27-26 over to Lancers. But Lakeland, who's coached by former Jefferson star and assistant coach Ryan McCarney, retakes the lead here off the good hustle by Stephen Cook with the steal, and it's Boris Berwick with the jumper, and it's 30-27 Lancers. But watch this nice power move here by Griffin Riley, who muscles his way in for two, and Jefferson goes up by one, 31-30. Then it's the Falcons on the run as they get it back to Connor Acey, who drains the three, and the Falcons are up by four, 34-30, with 2.32 to go in the quarter. But we go to the fourth quarter tied, watch Lakeland on the inbounds, as Brett Riley knocks down the tray from the corner, and this game is tied at 34. Great game. Okay, fourth quarter action, and Jefferson trails 39-36, but that changes here, watch Connor AC work his way up court, and he cans another three, and we are tied at 39. He had a big game, folks. Lakeland, however, goes up by two here on the nice baseline drive by Boris Berwick, and the Lancers have a 41-39 lead midway through the fourth quarter. Then it's Connor AC continuing that big night for the Falcons with another three off the miss to give Jefferson a 42-41 lead with three minutes to go. All right, Lakeland is down 42-41 with just over a minute left, and watch the great pass here from Avery Davison over the shoulder to Brett Riley for the deuce, and Lakeland would upset the Falcons in advance with a 43-42 victory after losing to Jefferson last year as Jefferson ends its season with a 17-7 record. It was a hard-fought game. We had a couple great opportunities to knock down some shots and the kids just didn't hit them tonight. And, uh, you know, uh, Lakeland was very well coached and uh, Coach Ryan McCarney did a great job uh, defending us. Uh, but, you know, we got a couple good looks there at the end and we were hoping one would fall down. And your final thoughts on the season, please, Coach. Well, you know, I mean, we won our league, and that was one of our goals. Uh, and I'm very proud of the kids for winning our league. Um, where I'm disappointed is, you know, we always talk about if you win the league, you have to win a county game, you have to win a state game. And uh, so we're, you know, very disappointed that we fell short there.